Hey, what's going on everyone? Today is what? The 20th of January, 2023. We're gonna talk about Shiba Inu today real quick because I haven't done a price predicts in a while. So I wanted to come in and speak to everyone who is interested in Shiba Inu as to what we're noticing on the charts to determine whether or not the market's gonna to continue to go up. Now, it's been a while and you guys can see that ever since the low of January the 2nd, let's go ahead and calculate this, to the high of the 18th of January, the market in Shiba Inu ran up 62% very good run are we at the end of the road for this market move because ever since i did the video we was trending and, and showing how shiba inu was trending down right it was in a downward move and now we are trading outside of that particular area so obviously we need to come in and address this and talk about what we need to look forward to okay are we still going to trend down in, in shiba inu or are we going to maintain some consolidation of trading trading in the channel are we going to continue to break out so let's go ahead and talk so let's go ahead and first of all, we are going to address this, okay? Because this may actually be the downtrend. So what I originally had was here, but the market in Shiba Inu may actually be getting rejected on this actual downtrend. So to be fair, to be honest, I'm going to go ahead and address that and move that downtrend line up just a little bit higher, okay? And I'm going to extend the support area which is around 815 okay so let's do that so now this is the new opportunities that we're noticing in regards to who's selling and who is buying so on every price level that comes to this downtrend line that is where we're going to look for sellers okay price comes down here to the bottom line that's where we're going to look for the buyers it's just that easy Let's go ahead and look at this on the two weekly chart right now in Shiba Inu. And right here over the last two weeks, this is fantastic for us to see this two weekly price bar right there. That's why the market currently is still going up. But right now on this current two weekly price bar, that's selling right there. So we're, we're not out the woods in terms of us seeing the sellers getting out the way and allowing the market to continue to go up in Shiba Inu. Okay. Here it is on the three weekly chart. Now we got what? Two days and 13 hours left. But again, Pretty good spread, but I don't like the market closing off the highs. So in the next two days, we want to see the market in Shiba Inu close up here towards that 1350 area. Now let's take it back down to the daily time frame. Volume has been increasing as Shiba Inu has been going up in price. We've been topping out right now though. So to those who didn't catch Shiba Inu when it was trading around 815, points even though i understand it's less than a penny but you may have missed out on a move that 62 percent run may actually be at an end right now take it out on the three day so here it is on the three day chart a whole lot of selling came in on the prior completion three day price bar take a look at that so i'm not here to show you some information that you don't already know this Three day price bar with this high amount of volume definitely tells me that there was some selling going on in the market in Shiba Inu. Now, is the market willing to absorb it and continue to take this trend higher? Because let's take a look. This market in Shiba Inu is, is going up. It's been a great run. Fantastic run. right so looking at this on the daily chart i would say that even though we saw all this price volatility and volume coming to the market in shiba inu yesterday well what's that the 19th seeing this coming on the 18th excuse me right here that it didn't have any impact on the buyers like the buyers came in and really bought it up so this tells me that there's still a little bit more gas in the tank that they're going to try to pursue the market is Shiba Inu going up. Now, I already know it, you know it. This downtrend line is going to play a hard role in whether or not the buyer is going to take this area out. Okay, so that is what we're up against. In terms of probability, looking at what occurred into the market in Shiba Inu recently, I still suspect that buyers are interested in moving price up, but they may not take it that high. Why? Because of all this volume that came in on the 18th and the 17th of January. That's the reason. Sellers are all the way up here around 1200 to 1250. Be careful. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, there's definitely sellers coming in right now. All right, so let's do this. I really don't expect too much in terms of price movement now. Um, I think the move has already occurred into the market in Shiba Inu. So I'm not gonna look for too much out of this. So with that being said, I'm going to play some strength into the market in Shiba Inu, but I'm really, I'm pretty much expecting it to consolidate and trade within a range. So let me go ahead and show you where I think the resistance area is going to be for Shiba Inu. Okay. So now I'm going to hold this downtrend line because I want to use it as a placeholder for everyone to see that we already know that we are trading at a resistance area and you may want to wait to see how low market goes before buyers continue to step in to confirm that they're willing to move the market up. But since I don't cover uh, Shiba Inu on an intraday basis every day, I'm going to have to plot this price prediction here to give the market opportunity to come into play. OK, so as of right now, let me see if I can put a bow on it and tie it up right now i'm playing the strength to the market in shiba inu however i'm not too bullish in this cryptocurrency right now all because of what occurred on the 18th of january okay with all the volume and how the price bar looks it tells me that sellers are coming in on this downtrend line market actually is hitting resistance on this downtrend line so from a risk management basis we already know what the opportunity cost would be for us to not see price break that downtrend we need to see the market break that downtrend if it doesn't happen we already know why okay even if it does break that downtrend line like i said i'm not looking too much in terms of price action we might hit what my first price target would be on that downtrend line okay so on the next leg up it look like it's going to be around 1200 points that would be my first price target okay which is only five and a half percent then my second one will be at the high that occurred on the 18th which is around 1300 points and then my third one is going to be around 1400 points but again it's going to take a whole lot of emphasis and, and bullishness in the overall cryptocurrency market for in my perspective for shape Inu to come to 1400 points okay so that is it. Give me your thoughts right now. I would say that I'm looking for price to dip to go down. And the sooner that we see the buyers come back in and proper price, the better, the longer that it takes, the less likely this price prediction is going to come to fruition. I'm just here to tell you that right now. OK, so just give you all a heads up. All right. Give me your thoughts, though. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always, trade different.